Okay, so just to wrap up our discussion of the wars, uh, I just wanted to present um, some I ideas that you could use uh, if you chose to write on uh, the wars for your uh, writing assignment number four. Uh, these could be some possible uh, themes or ideas um, that you could write about in your essay. And for this one, you are, again, you're going to create your own thesis statement, your own sort of focus question um, that will provide you with an argument. Um, but here's some ideas that will get you going uh, if you choose to write on this novel. The first one I, that I thought of, uh, you could do an essay around this idea of freedom uh, versus restraint uh, or autonomy versus subjection. Uh, so this is one of the central conflicts in the novel uh, between uh, sort of being your own person and being free, whatever that means, uh, to Robert. Uh, so his freedom to be himself, uh, to choose his own path in life, to make his own choices and decisions, to, um, to have liberty to be himself. And all of that versus the restraints that he feels um, in society. Uh, so you could associate that with the military service, that hierarchy of order. Uh, you could also relate this to gender identity too. So he feels sort of restrained by certain ideas of what's normal at the time. Um, so masculinity and... Um, how he is, he feels sort of obligated to follow the established or dominant uh, norms of society, and he's also he has to follow orders as a soldier. So there's sort of uh, something going on in terms of this conflict that he is involved with, and eventually he asserts his freedom and autonomy in that act of. Uh, uh, standing up against the military system and asserting that we shall not be taken. And then another essay topic could be your opinion, uh, your interpretation of whether he is a hero or a madman. Uh, this could be a good essay, uh, so you could pick one or the other and make your case against uh, to support your argument. So do you view him as a hero person? What are your arguments uh, to reinforce that uh, interpretation of his character. Another one, you could choose one uh, symbol or set of symbols and do an analysis of them. Uh, for example, you might want to focus on you know specific animals uh, as symbols in the text. You might want to pick one uh, like horses and just follow that all the way through or you might want to do you know horses and birds or horses, dogs and you know, uh, rabbits or something like that. Uh, so narrow it down into uh, which animals you want to talk about as symbols and what they represent. Uh, you could also do elements of nature in this way, so air, uh, fire, water, and earth, and what those are, how those are depicted in the novel. Um, so you could do an analysis of those symbols as well, the symbols of nature. Uh, even stones, you could just concentrate on all the, the sort of imagery related to stones and what those represent uh, in the text. Uh, you might want to focus specifically on masculinity and gender. Um, this is sort of a topic uh, that you could analyze from a perspective of our sort of contemporary version of uh, gender studies. Uh, so you're looking critically at how masculinity um, is portrayed in the text and how Robert feels sort of uh, excluded or ostracized uh, given the norms of the time. Uh, you might want to address his uh, sexuality if you interpret it in a specific way. And then another idea, you could talk about the military system, how that's portrayed in the novel. Like I said, it's kind of an anti-war uh, narrative, so you might want to, uh, you know, discuss the ways that Finley uh, characterizes the military system and how it dehumanizes or objectifies the soldiers. So 
you could make a kind of argument around that idea as well. So any of those ideas, plus your own, I don't know, you might have something specific that you wanted to talk about um, that you didn't get a chance to in the discussion boards. So maybe that will inspire you to write uh, your paper on the wars. So I also want to uh, briefly address uh, something related to writing essays. Um, you'll notice that I always, uh, on your paper, I might say add transition. Usually it's at the start of a a paragraph, uh, but this is something that you can work on and I'll post this uh, handout on the course homepage for your uh, reference. But uh, it's something that you can start adding to your writing and it just makes your writing flow uh, more nicely. And uh, you can do it in a way that connects your argument so you move from one point in this paragraph to the next point in your next paragraph and the transitions allow you to show the connection between those two ideas. So if you're ask, or adding a new idea, you could add transitions uh, like, again, also, finally, first, further, furthermore, in addition, moreover, uh, etc. So you could add any of those if you wanted to add another point uh, in addition to what you just said. Um, so these are, again, it just allows you to have more flow in your writing. So if you want to create a comparison, if you're comparing two different things, you could say in the same way or similarly. If you want to emphasize something, you could say certainly, indeed, in fact, or of course. Uh, further down, if you have, if you want to give an example or an illustration, you say, uh, for example, for instance, in conclusion, indeed, in fact, uh, namely, to illustrate. Uh, if you want to show contrast, you could say although, um, on one hand, on the other hand, otherwise, nevertheless, to summarize. So maybe at the end of your paper you need to summarize everything. So you could say all in all, all together, in particular, in summary, on the whole, therefore, uh, and then to show a time sequence, you could do uh, after a while, afterward, before, eventually, finally, formally, further. So there's a whole bunch of transition words that you can start integrating into your writing and it just uh, takes your writing to the next level and shows me that uh, you're considering the connection of all your ideas together and it helps eliminate choppiness. So I'll post uh, this transition guide uh, and you can print it out on your own and then refer to it when you're writing your essay uh, so use it as a reference and it'll help your writing